Hi, my name is Przemek. I'm the designer and developer of MetaGrid Pro, and today I'm going to help you with setting up MetaGrid Pro to display and select articulations in Logic Pro. You need to have the up-to-date version of Meta Server running on your computer, and the latest version of MetaGrid Pro running on your iPad. So I've just downloaded the uh, latest version of MetaGrid Pro from the App Store, and I'm going to run it. So let's start. Let's give the MetaGrid Pro the permission to access MetaServer on your computer. And I'm going to connect with uh, USB. Here is the onboarding, so I'm going to skip it. To be able to display articulations and select them in Logic Pro, you need to purchase the premium version of MetaGrid Pro. MetaGrid Pro enables you to control any application on your Mac or PC. Uh, but to do so, you need to create a profile for the given application. Now I'm going to create the profile for Logic Pro. So let's go to the Content Manager. So I tap the profile name in the top bar, then I select Content Manager. Let's skip this information screen. Set the Logic Pro as the application in focus on a computer. Tap the uh, plus icon in the Profiles area and tap Logic Pro. MetaGrid Pro offers some preset grids for Logic Pro, but let's skip it for a moment and press cancel. So the profile for Logic Pro has been created. So when you tap done, you can see that you've got an empty grid, uh, 6x6, that's the default grid that's created when you create profiles in MetaGrid Pro. Now, let's create a new grid uh, with the Art Conductor object that will enable us to communicate with Logic and display the articulation sets. Now, tap the um, profile name and create a grid by tapping the plus icon. So let's create a new grid. Okay, so I'm going to create it and I am going to choose the grid and the scene. As you can see now, the Logic Pro uh, profile has got two scenes. They don't differ at this very moment, but they've got different names, right? So we've got um, My Grid for Logic Pro and Logic Articulation Remote. So now let's modify it because I want uh, the uh, articulation switching object to uh, be uh, to take the whole grid. I don't want any buttons there. I just have I, I just want to have one object uh, for this particular uh, functionality. So I'm going to switch to layout mode. I'm going to select all the buttons here and I'm going to clear them, right? So now the grid, the grid is empty, but I'm going to merge now all the uh, empty slots here into one huge object and select it. Then I'm going to press add and then I'm going to select art conductor. So here I am and here we go. So uh, the object automatically connects to uh, Logic Pro. And if you've got Plug Search installed, and if you've got articulation sets from the Art Conductor product assigned to your tracks, now this object will automatically connect and, and get the uh, current set for the selected track. It's great. So when I now when I leave the edit mode, when I switch the tracks in Logic Pro. Uh, each track has got the uh, articulation set uh, assigned from the Art Conductor articulation sets. And then when I change it, MetaGrid Pro automatically displays the uh, current articulation set. And of course I can select, I can uh, do everything that uh, you can do with articulations. So uh, as you can see, the setup is very easy. Just a few steps required and MetaGrid Pro is going to help you uh, be more creative with your orchestrations and uh, with working with virtual instruments and Logic Pro. I hope that you will find this short video helpful. Thanks for watching and enjoy.